Xi'an City is located on the western side of Shenzhen. Xi'an City is in the Nantau area below Zhongshan Park. Currently, the closest MTR station is Daxin. To reach Xi'an City, it takes 15 minutes on foot. The ancient city borders Shenan Avenue and Nanshan Avenue. We're inside a museum, but it's all in Chinese. So I just look at the pictures and I'm done. But I can pretty much get the gist of it. it talks about the Opium War and uh, the Hong Kong area, how it was created by the British taking control of uh, the lower area of the Pearl River Delta. Because I live in Hong Kong, I've seen basically the same thing. It's just replicated here, but from their perspective of what happened. Yeah, because like um, Shenzhen and Hong Kong were under the same province uh, back in like really old days, like 200 years ago, Qing government, or even um, 300, 400 years ago. Uh, this area is called the Xi'an, um, so uh, Shenzhen and Hong Kong belong to the same province. But uh, after the British took over, uh, Hong Kong and Kowloon and New Territory, they, they were split in the half. So you can still see some similarities. Uh, this was the legislative council or the court uh, where they settled the conflicts. Amongst the villagers? Uh, among the villagers. How interesting is this for you though? Because I feel like I've already done it before, having lived in Hong Kong. I think it's more for the difference between the modern day China and the ancient China. Right, so if you've never been to Hong Kong, I guess um, I think you'd get more out of this than, than I did. Well, like, it seems like a repeat, but a variation on that repeat that I've already seen. They say that when you grow older, then you want to uh, learn more things about the past, but not the future. It's nice to see though that not all of Shenzhen has disappeared as mm. it's modernized. Mm. 
Uh, they were saying on Reddit that basically Shenzhen had been reformatted uh, to obviously fit in the modern world. That's why it's such an economic powerhouse, even when it's sitting next to Hong Kong. Um, but it's nice that some of the history is still here. Here's this part. 